What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Raudeza Reviews. I'm Raudeza. Now I know in the entertainment world there is a wash of superhero movies and even though people say that superhero fatigue is a thing, I think it's still going pretty strong depending on what you're consuming. Now there are some unique gems out there and The Boys is definitely one of them. It is a complete deconstruction of the superhero fallacy and the superhero mythos. What makes this show so brilliant, so unique, and so successful is that not only does it incorporate very subtly current political satire, but it also delves into the deepest, darkest, most disturbing aspects of human frailty, and it just so happens to be superhumans, which I gotta tell you, it's very brutal at times. The show is very raw and unflinching, and I think that that's what makes it so appealing to so many people. And I have to say, as I mentioned before, in terms of its political satire, it's pretty spot on. If I had to find a parallel to what this show is trying to convey to its audience, I really would have to say Alan Moore's The Watchmen, that was incredibly bold and cutting edge at the time, and really redefined what a graphic novel could be. So today we're going to be reviewing Star Acer Toys version of Starlight, the deluxe version from The Boys, the one six scale figure. Let's take a closer look. Well guys, unfortunately, I'm very disappointed with this figure, uh, mostly because of the head sculpt. Now, this doesn't even look like Aaron Morarity. I see glimpses of it, but not really in certain angles. Mostly it has to do with how generic this head sculpt looks. It really looks like a Phoenician figure. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But look at the actual sculpt in the hairline where it meets the actual fabric hair. I mean, it's just there's a fault line there that's just horrible to look at. Mostly this head sculpt is just very generic looking and for this price point they really should have put a little bit more into the sculpt. Very disappointing here. Now fortunately the midsection of this piece fares a lot better. The fabrics that they use are very well done. They're high quality. I love the stitching and the etching and the subtle details. The color palette is done very well where you offset the yellow and the gold against the white so that's done very well. My complaint though is in the actual arms and I'm gonna get to them if you're going to use this motif here or the way to pose it, they don't fit very well and these things are just barely hanging on. So I think that's a quality control issue which is very unfortunate. So I wanted to go back to the arms just a little bit. They do have these translucent energy kind of swirls. Now it's a pain in the ass to put these together. They do come together with magnets around the actual arm itself but they're like hit or miss in terms of how strong they are. Now again, I mentioned because of this, the way that they actually fit into the figure, the pegs don't reach very well and her arms look a lot longer than they should and it just looks really awkward. She looks like a chimera for whatever reason. Now, if you have it like this, guys, I mean, if you pose it and you finally get it into a locking position, do not move it because the arms will fall off and again, that's just such an unfortunate thing. Now to its credit, the rubber body suit that they use for this figure is very well done and the lower section of this piece is very impressive. The skin is done perfectly and I gotta say, that rubber suit is done very well. The boots are also done exquisitely in terms of the overall sculpt and the design. However, it has absolutely no ball joint system so basically guys, you're not gonna be doing too many dynamic poses here. It's going to have to be stoic or in flight because there is no malleability here whatsoever in the sculpt even though they look really well done. Now this is what makes up this piece in terms of the deluxe edition. You get these additional kind of lightning bolts that click onto pegs and then click onto the actual base. But guys, this thing was such a pain in the ass to put into the actual base. They don't fit very well. I had to force it. I don't know how many times I almost thought I was going to break it. Now the translucent bolts are done very well, nothing special, we've seen other figures have these done very well. And the effect is done really amazingly. In, in, in other words, when you actually pose this figure and get everything in place, do not move it, okay, because that's just how it's going to stay, guys. Now you don't really need to run out and mirror this piece because there's not much going on the reverse side unless you like the Pantene hairstyle, which is done very well. I mean, when they get things right, they get things right. Now the cape is done very well. I love the etching, the details, the folds are done very well. And also that yellow lining looks really well done to offset some of the white. Now the way that this attaches to the actual figure from the base and to have it in flight is very rudimentary. Again, I don't know if they just wanted to keep costs low, but it's really messed up guys. But overall you don't have to mirror this piece. Now, you also get this slab of lacquered wood base, which I was really disappointed in. I mean, it's dense, but I don't know. Why, why are we still using wood? 
I mean, it just, it, it's so weird. I mean, I don't know. Some of the design choices are really weird. Now, it does say Starlight on the, the actual base itself. And on the rim, it has her tiara or her insignia, which is, you know, done pretty well. And the actual effect is done well when you have those little pegs in. But they're such a pain in the ass. I just, I don't understand this base. Now, in terms of the marketing or the packaging, I should say, what they did was they just slapped together the normal regular figure and then the deluxe figure and this is the base that you would get if you just got the normal figure and this is actually made out of plastic uh not cheap plastic actually this base makes more sense and i don't know it seems like this would have been the deluxe i i don't know guys a lot of this stuff doesn't make sense it does read starlight and i do love how simple it is and round and it just this base just actually makes more sense now Again, if you get the regular version, you get these additional accessories, which are the two kind of lightning particle translucent effects. And then here's the weird thing. Um, you have to put these little shoehorn hooks on the ends of the actual figure's hands in order to plug them into these lightning bolts for them to stay on the actual figure. I don't know. Guys, I'm telling you, the engineering or the planning that went into this is so bizarre, I don't understand it. Now, here's the thing that I... I really just don't get this is a little tool for the magnets I thought this was some kind of I don't know motif or something that that they gave to her in the show no it's just a little thing to manipulate the magnets which you really don't need at all I don't even know what the hell they put this thing in for to be honest with you it doesn't really work because the magnets aren't strong enough so whatever but you have it who the hell knows guys I don't know who was thinking or what they were thinking when they constructed or made some of the choices that they made and rounding out the last bit of accessories are four additional hands for various poses. And as I just mentioned, you're not going to be doing too many poses with this figure because it's just a, a lot of it doesn't make sense. doesn't fit well. The pegs are off. And if you put certain things on it, you just have to leave it the way it is. Because if you touch it or move it, it's just going to fall apart, guys. I mean, that's just what it is. There's a lot of QC issues here that don't make sense. So look, guys, I really love the show. It is brilliant. And unfortunately, they really half-assed this figure. Now, I think that the deluxe version is good, right? I mean, what, I mean, look at the way that it's posed. The way that I have it posed, I can put it on my shelf and it won't look embarrassing. I, I like the way that I have it. However, it is not worth the price with the deluxe version. I mean, they're, they have a lot of shitty ass and shoddy design choices. And it doesn't even look like the actress that portrays Starlight. And they're asking for Hot Toys prices and it's simply not worth it. If you're going to get this figure, uh, defin and it, it's weird because it's sold out, definitely get the regular version because uh, in all honesty, even though I got this deluxe version, I don't think it was worth the price point. Definitely not. It's just way too generic looking for this, for a figure, especially for the show. The show is, like I said, it's brilliant and it really deserved... Uh, a company or a manufacturer that really could have done this well and it simply didn't get that and that's very very unfortunate guys and that's that's my opinion on this figure it, it really baffles me and it's very unfortunate what the final result really looked like the only thing I could say is I, I guess this is good for now because I know that collectors want to have some memorabilia from the show because it is so popular but hopefully maybe 3-0 or ultimately hopefully Hot Toys gets the license for this th this show and they can do a really really good rendition of these figures it's unfortunate now i'm actually worried for the mave figure um and i'm gonna be getting butch also but man am i freaking worried after reviewing this piece it really sucks guys because i was really anticipating this figure and it was really disappointing now before i go i just want to thank the folks over at sideshow collectibles for sending this wonderful piece over for review all right, everybody, so that's my official review of Star Aces version of Starlight, the deluxe version from the boys, the 1-6 scale figure. As always, I thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next Raudeza Reviews.